and gentlemen, today I'm back finally opening 100 of the brand new Golden Pumpkin 23 crates in Rocket League. It's got the mainframe in, so maybe we could get something sick with 100 crates. We are going to get black markets, whether that's from the trade apps or the crates. I'm hoping for both. So drop a like, subscribe down below. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will open 100 again very, very soon. I don't know if that's going to happen, so drop a like and we'll find out. Alright, so we have 100 golden pumpkins. We're going to do something I've never done before. Start with a nose pumpkin from the inventory menu. Here we go. Golden pumpkin number one. Bang! Let's see how this goes. First one. First golden pumpkin I've opened in a few days. I'm trying to tuck my chair in and it won't go. And there we go. It's a breakout vector. We're going to open the first 50. We're going to have a little chat. First of all, how has your week been? Oh, we've got an exotic. Hold that thought. It's a yellow? Saffron. Yeah, saffron is yellow. That was a, that's a good spot. A good uh, good start. I am going to trade that up most likely. But yes, how was your day? My day is going fabulous. I wish I knew what day this is going. I think it's going out on the 27th of October, which I believe is a Friday. Oh my goodness. Good for you. I am very jealous. I'm recording this on Monday evening. So I still have the entire week to go. So what does my week look like? How has your week been? Let me know down in the comments. My week looks like today I played tennis. I went, well, this is a bit of a weird story. So me and my friend, Emilio, we booked tennis for 7 a.m. till 9 a.m. An outdoor court. And I arrive at the tennis court at 7 a.m. sharp. And it's still dark, which is fine. But what organization, company, whatever, offers outside tennis sessions at 7 a.m.? With no floodlights. So for the first 15 minutes, we couldn't see. Luckily, my friend was 20 minutes late. So I say we couldn't see. I couldn't see. But, you know, I'll allow it. Shout out to Emilio. TGD plays. <laughs> he fell off his bike on the way. I shouldn't be laughing. But we both laughed about it in the moment. But also, it's been raining recently. So we both, at one like at different times, slipped over on the court, which was a little bit rubbish. But I've been keeping well. I've been... Basically, I've replaced cricket, my weekly cricket that I play over the summer, with weekly tennis, and I really do love it. And I think I've shown a lot of improvement because unlike cricket that I played my whole life, I'd never played tennis really. I played it a couple times at school in like, you know, PE, I guess. And I was pretty good at it compared to the average person because I'm good with that kind of sport. You know, like table tennis, cricket, hand eye is always quite good. I've got sporting prowess. So I was pretty good at it. But now I would say I'm decent at tennis. So that's fun. Uh, but other than that, also, I mean, again, another sports thing. You would have seen it if you follow me on Twitter. For after, like, I would say a year, nearly two years of properly trying. And by properly try, I would say once or twice a month. Trying to get 200 in 10 pin bowling. I managed it. I got exactly 200. And the thing is, before this day, yo! Black roulettes. That is a dub. We're going to carry on with the stories, though. I used to tell cricket stories, but now I'm just telling other sports stories. So... I said in the car to my friend Steve, who I always go bowling with, I said, surely at some point in our lives, one of us is going to get 200, because we both come very close. Never, both, Neither of us ever got to 190. And then, hang on, regular dynamos. We do three games, right? I have my warm-up game. I get like 140. It's a warm-up game. It is what it is. That's another exotic. That's a reactor wheel. So we're definitely getting black markets for sure, because we've had four exotics already. Then in my second of three games, I was able to get 200 but i bottled it and got 192 i was kind of happy because i'd never got 190 before but i was gutted but then the third game i went and got 200 exactly so that's an achievement and i was saying actually it's funny it's funny i was, I was talking to steve about this in the car I, I don't know what's going on with the exotics honestly but i'm loving it we're gonna get multiple black markets this video i was saying how it feels like that's the first time in a long time but I really feel like I've worked towards something and achieved it for like a long time. Like where I've set a goal, it's a measurable goal in the sense that there's a literal number. And I've worked at it for years and actually achieved it. Like I got, people would look at me and think I got way too gassed. But he was just as gassed for me and I was so gassed because like I said, for like two years, I tried over and over and over again and failed. Essentially, I set a target for myself that I believe to be capable of and failed week in week out at this target and then i finally got it so it just felt amazing and that's another boost i think what you've got to do as humans in life you've got to set yourself goals you've got to set yourself targets because i have like little goals here and there like i have a goal to upload a video every day onto youtube and i achieve that but i only ever work one day at that goal you know what i mean so it's not like a long thing that i have to work towards so if you can get a measurable goal that you have to basically work a long time at potentially whether that be like you know a fitness goal a weight loss goal if you can work towards that the feeling of achieving it is insane and i literally went you know just bowling at a 
local bowling place, Hollywood Bowl, where people just go and bowl for fun and achieved essentially just an insane goal that I've been working towards for ages. And it just so happened that I striked, I got three strikes in a row on the final go. So I had two throws left because I got a strike on the first throw of the 10th frame, which means you get two throws left. And then I got an eight and I needed nine to get 200 because I was on 191. I got an eight, which left me on 199 with one throw left, but I only had two pins to aim at. And luckily I let go and thought I messed it up and I just clipped one of the pins and got 200 exactly. But I wish, I wish I could have like had that. I think actually, I think Steve might have filmed it. I was going to say, I wish I had a record of that to see. I might message Steve in a sec and be like, yo, do you have, I've got, a... I'll message him now. And if he sends me the video, I'll include it in the video because I'm pretty sure he was filming it. So I'm going to message him and ask and hopefully I can include it in this video. <laughs> Just a uh, regular week coming up, I guess. YouTube stuff. I've got two videos that have gone out by the time you're seeing this that have gone out on the football channel that I get to make. I love making videos for my football channel. I've got pick a pixel videos that I get to make. Obviously, you would have seen them all and everything like that. The pick clip yesterday and all the videos coming up tomorrow and after that I haven't yet made, of course. But yeah, it's exciting times. I'm going to make this cray opening. We're going to get some sick black markets. Then I'm going to go make my dinner, have some chicken steaks, I think, and then do the 9 p.m. tournament. So that'll be exciting. And I'm just sort of looking forward to everything. I've had, you know, I've been speaking to a few people. It, it seems very much the Rocket League are also going to go through with their player-to-player -player trading update. Uh, a few people have been like, you know, what are you going to do? Everything like that. And at the moment, I don't know what... That's quite sick. I don't know what necessarily I'm going to do for sure. I just know that I'm going to be all right. And I appreciate all the messages that you've all sent me with regards to that. Because it is... It's a little bit... It's... I wouldn't even say it's worrying. It's a bit worrying, but... It's more exciting for me, and I think I'm going to do Rocket League as long as I enjoy it. But if I get to a point, say, next year, I'm like, okay, given now that I can't do most of the videos I used to make, I'm now finding that I don't enjoy it. Oh, that's a dub. I wonder how long it's been since I got a painted endo in a crate. Probably years. If I get to that point, I will make something else. Whether it be, like, I love the idea of doing, like, comedy videos, like, cut commentary story time type videos. And I could even have Rocket League gameplay in the back of those videos and just do, like, cut commentaries. That sounds kind of interesting, actually. I do quite like that idea. Like, it was one of like story time videos, funny videos, but with Rocket League, back, Rocket League background gameplay. It's not a bad idea because that would be a good way to bridge the gap. Say I wanted to do like story time, funny moments, or like videos like, I don't know, like I used to do on my old vlogging channel, like types of people here, things you learn at school, things that sucked at school. I wanted to do videos like that, but I wanted to bridge the gap with my Rocket League audience. I could always include Rocket League gameplay in the background, which by general population standards is a good level of Rocket League. Like I'm in like the top percent of players. I'm not going to say an exact number because I don't know, but at least the top 10%. So it's going to be decent gameplay, right? So that could be something. I could do that, but as you can see, I've got tons of ideas. I am excited to go forward and implement those ideas and if it just so happens that rocket league is something i don't want to do i have no choice but to then do another thing have another idea go a different direction whether that's do another game make different types of videos maybe then next year i make the executive decision to not upload daily shift the focus to weekly but bigger and better and more insane uploads like imagine a video that i i plan conceptualize on a monday prepare and everything else for on a tuesday record on a wednesday edit on a thursday and a friday and upload on a saturday for example Imagine I made some sick video like that once a week. Like, it is doable. Because obviously I am stunted to the extent to which I can put loads and loads of effort in each and every single video when I upload every single day, given that I edit them and do the thumbnails and everything for them myself. So, it's interesting. But if you have any suggestions, I've, I'm open to suggestions. I've even received emails from the link in the description, the email in the description, of people giving me ideas as to what I could do post-free-to-play, or not post-free-to-play, post-trading update, um, whether that's Rocket League related or otherwise. So if you've got an idea... Drop a comment down below. Let me know how your week has gone. And uh, if you are going out this weekend for Halloween, like myself, please do enjoy yourself. Have fun. I'm going with a group of people. We're doing Scooby-Doo, like the Scooby-Doo crew. And I'm going to be shaggy. So nice, easy costume for me. 
uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it very much. So let me know all your thoughts in the comments. And I'm going to show you the best items of the final 50 like I usually do. Which will be painted exotics. Which we've already had a few of. And black markets. Because we've now opened 125 golden pumpkin 23s. And not had a black market from them. Not including trade ups. So hopefully we get one in this 50. I'll show you the best stuff. And then we'll do the trade ups. Where we are going to get one at least. Probably two black markets as well. The guy that gave me the titanium white exotics for the black market trader video. You need to go and watch it from the 23rd of October. I think I just uploaded it two hours ago at the time of recording this. He just emailed me saying, yo, just saw the video. I'm so happy that the hard work paid off because he worked really hard to get me those 200 titanium white exotics. And then I got a white mainframe and a white sub zero. So go and watch that video. Shout out to Eastwind for that email. Insane. I'm pretty sure I was wearing this top in that video. I, I do wash. I do all my own laundry. Don't worry. It's clean. But yeah, I, I love this top. It's like my comfy at home top. Titanium white! The white chair, the white shirt, the white earphones, the white wheels, the white car. That is huge. I would equip that if I wasn't just upgrading my Berserker trail for no reason other than just to keep upgrading it. We got more titanium white items. Crazy. We've had a few that I also just didn't show you, but it just keeps happening. Titanium white, we're going to get a white wing. We're going to get a white mainframe. I was going to say white black market, white mainframe. We're going to get it. Imagine. Another titanium white binary. Okay. Ooh, gray scorer gurnauts. Looking pretty good. 15 more crates to go. Maybe we go 175 without getting a black market. And if we get 1,000 likes, I'll open 100 again. It's another painted endo. And surely from another 100, if we don't get it in this 14, we get one, right? But either way, we've had enough exotics and items to get, I think, two black markets at least at the end of this video. So stick around. Ooh. Oh, oh. That is the most valuable striker. No, the most valuable cyclone in the game. Titania White Striker. That's pretty insane. We're just going to trade up all this stuff. We're pretty much good to go. Uh, a painted endo right there. That can go, that can go, that can go. Bang, bang. Oh, White Yaman is kind of cool, kind of cool. We'll trade it. Oh, kind of cool. It's Golden Gift. Oh, what do I do? What do I trade up? What do I have here? White Yaman is there already. Anodized Pearl. Uh, Reapers. Uh, oh, here we go. We can trade you up. Picket wheels. Who cares? Get rid of it. Synthwave Sky Blue. Now let's see what we've got here in terms of exotics. Most recent. Okay. We're going to keep those for now. Let's trade up number one. Oh, yeah. I just realized there's not really any good exotics you can get in this uh, in this series. So we're just going to see what we can get. Pretty much trade for everything up. Black Reactors would probably be the best thing, to be honest. We're going to go with all these bad boys. Halos Wheels. L. Let's go with, um, hmm, Cobalt Endo, probably. Yeah, we're going to go with the Cobalt Endo. Keep the white stuff. That is not great. We've got white Synthwave, white Finnies, white Striker Cyclone, and then these items here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we can keep two. So I'm going to keep the Crimson Gurnots and, no, the Crimson Chaos and the Black Gurnots and trade up the exotics that I've got today. So here we go. Let's start. So we've got two black markets to get exactly. This is insane. Number one. Oh, 20XX normal. That's the same black market I got in the previous golden pumpkin opening. So we just need... We've had two black markets from this series. And they've both been 20XX. Both non-painted. So we can get something else. Yes! We got a painted mainframe! That is insane! It's it's not titanium wide, but from a crate opening. And the very few trainers we get, we've got to take that. My first painted black market from the series the lime golden pumpkin 23 mainframe thank you rocket league for at least at the very least including mainframes in this crate because otherwise it would be a complete bust this is why we open these crates so like i said a thousand likes and i'll do this again with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video i've been pixel you have been awesome i look forward to reading your comments down below and i'll see you in the next video very soon